Hey, this is Scott Collins. I, uh, of course, we're all sequestered and things, but I got to thinking how I could encourage folks. Um, I, I remember that I had this 1888 Martin guitar. It's got Martin New York stamped on it, but I think it was born in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, which is a good place to be born. I've got a savior born there. Of course, it wasn't Nazareth, Pennsylvania, but a little farther away than that. But anyway, it's got a, it's got a pretty interesting history. It was owned by Homer Ledford, the famous Kentucky uh, musician, and uh, I got it out of South Kentucky from a little man named David who had it in his closet for many years. And I got to thinking, that guitar, when I saw it, it has a lot of life, it has something to say, and it's got a lot of be beautiful music left in it. Uh, you know, I do a lot of retirement homes, and sometimes I, I realize that those folks have a lot of beauty and a lot to say, a lot of wisdom. But anyway, it also, interesting about it, it has, uh, Martin uh, sold these in what's called a coffin case. And you can see this right here. It's shaped like a coffin. And so we kind of resurrected it. And uh, we're going to do a, a song here today about it. But let me just say a few words about it just to, as an encouragement. Um, you know, this guitar... Uh, has seen two world wars, and uh, it was born under Glo Grover Cleveland, President Cleveland. It's seen 22 different presidents. Um, matter of fact, it came into being around the time that uh, Thomas Ed Edison was developing commercial electricity, as well as the automobile was becoming uh, something that was going to be commercially available and uh, so those are two inventions that we don't even think about today, but my friend here uh, was born about the time that all that was happening. It's also seen uh, a couple epidem epidemics, and uh, you know what? It made it through, and uh, we're going we're gonna to have to uh, weather the storm and, and trust in God, and it'll be okay. We're going to get through this thing, all right? Um, but anyway, it's got a great, a great history. Uh, matter of fact, 1888 was when my grandfather was born. So this is basically uh, reminds me of my grandfather, who was uh, who was uh, had a lot of German descent in him. Uh, so the song I was thinking about doing was "It Is Well with My Soul," and uh, because you know there's a lot of a lot of uh, hard things going on right now, and and, and people losing things that. Uh, that we held very dear to all of us in, in, its, in its troubled times. But you know what? Horatio Spafford lost uh, several members of his family in a tragic accident. And through that, he wrote the song, It Is Well With My Soul, which basically says that whatever happens, it is well with my soul. And interestingly enough, Horatio Spafford died in 1888. So another another little thing about this guitar but it's called a parlor guitar and it's not very loud and it's pretty hard to play but i'm going to try to try to commandeer through it it goes like this Like a river tendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll whatever my life thou hast taught me to say it is a well it is well with my My soul, though 
Saint and Jude Buffett. Those trials should come. Let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and his shame. His own blood for my soul. It is a well with my soul. It is a well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, haste the day when I fail. He shall be silent. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall be sound, and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul.